this video we're going to take a look at something strange that can happen when we're using the pairwise comparison method to count votes and one of the candidates drops out of the election. So here is the original preference schedule for the election. We're going to figure out who the winner is using the pairwise comparison method. So first we have to start off by pairing each of the candidates up with each other. We'll start off with candidate A. So candidate A versus B. A versus C, A versus D, and A versus E. Next, candidate B. We've already paired B up with A, so A versus or B versus C, B versus D, and B versus E. Next, candidate C. We've paired C up with A and B already, so C versus D and C versus E. And lastly, candidate D versus E. So now we have all of the candidates paired up together. Now we'll compare candidates A and B first. On the first two ballots, candidate A is above B, so A gets those two votes. B gets the next six because they're above A. On the next four, B is above A, so it gets those four votes. B is above A on this one. And A is above B on the next one. On the next four, A is above B. And on the last four, B is above A. A has a total of seven votes, and B has a total of 15 votes. So B is the winner here. Next, we want to compare A and C. A is above C on the first two. A is above C on the six. A is above C on the four. C is above A on the one. C is above A on the next one. A is above C on this four. And on the last four, C is above A. So we can see that A has a total of 16 votes and C has a total of 6 votes. So A is the winner here. Next we'll compare A and D. A is above D on the first two. And then A is above D on the six. And A is above D on the four and A is above D on this one, D is above A on this one, D is above A on this four, and finally, D is above A on the last four. So we can see that A has a total of 13, and D has a total of nine, and so A is the winner of this pairing. Next, A versus E. So A is above E on the first two. A is above E on the six. A is above E on this four. A is above E on the one. A is above E on this one. A is above E on this four. And on the last four, E is above A. So E only has four, and A has a total of 18. And so A is the winner of that pairing. Next, we'll look at B versus C. On the first two, C is above B. So C gets those two. B is above C on the next six. And on the four, C is above B on the next two. And Candidate C is above B on the four, and candidate C is above B on the last four. So candidate B has a total of 10, and candidate C has a total of 12, and so C wins this pairing. Now we'll compare B and D. D is above D is above B on the first two. 
B is above D on the next six, and also on this four. B is above D on the one, D is above B on this one, D is above B on the four, and on the last four, D is also above B. B has a total of 11, and D also has a total of 11, so we have a tie. When we have a tie, each candidate will get a half a point. Next, we want to compare B versus E. On the first two ballots, B is above E. And on the next six, and also on the next four, and on the next one, and on the next one as well, and on this four, E is above B, and also on the last four, E is above B. So we can see that B has a total of 14, and E has a total of 8, and so B is the winner of this pairing. Next, we'll compare C and D. On the first two ballots, D is on top. On the next six, C is above D. On the next four, D is above C. On the next one, both of these actually, C is above D. So C will get both of those. On the next four, D is above C. And on the last four, C is above D. So C has a total of 12, and D has a total of 10, and so C is the winner of that pair one. Next, candidates C and E. On the first two ballots, C is above E. Also on the next six. On the next four, E is above C. On this one, C is above E, and also on this one. So C will get both of those. On the next four, E is above C. And also on the next four, E is above C. So C has a total of 10, and E has a total of 12. So E will win this pairing. And the last pairing, D versus E. So D is above on the first two, D is above on the six, D is above on the four, um, D is above on this one, D is above on the next one, D is above on the four, and on the last four ballots, E is on top. So D has a total of 18, and E only has four, so D is the winner of that pairing. Now we tally up their points, and A this time wins one, two, three of their pairings. Candidate B wins one, two, and this half, so B has two and a half. Candidate C wins one, two of its pairings. Candidate D wins this one and this half, so one and a half. And finally, candidate E wins just this one pairing. So the candidate that won the most pairings was candidate A, so A wins. And now we'll take a look at what happens if candidate C were to drop out of the election. And so what we're going to do is candidate C is going to drop out. So candidate C will just come off of all of these ballots. And so we will only have four choices instead of five. And so on these two ballots, it would be A is their first choice, D is their second, B is their four, third, and E is their fourth. These six would be B is their first, A second, D third, and E fourth, and so on. So here is that preference schedule without C on it. And let's see who wins this time. 
So let's continue pairing up these candidates. So we'll have A versus B. C is no longer in the election, so then A versus D and A versus E. Now pair candidate B up with everybody. B has already been paired up with A. C is no longer in the election, so it would be B versus D and B versus E. Again, candidate C is no longer in the election, so we move on to candidate D, and our last pairing would be D versus E. On the first two ballots, when we're comparing A and B, A is above B, so A will get those two. On the next six, B is above A, so B will get the next six. B is above A on the four. B is above A on the one. A is above B on this one, A is above B on this four, and B is above A on the last four. So A has a total of seven, and B has a total of 15, and B is the winner of this pairing. A versus D, candidate A is above D on the two, a is above D on the 6, A is above D on the 4, A is above D on this one, D is above A on this one, D is above A on this 4, and D is above A on the last 4. Candidate A has a total of 13 and candidate D has a total of 9, so candidate A wins that pairing. Next we have A versus E. A is above E on the first two, and the next six, and the next four, and the next one, and the next one, and also on this four, and finally E is on top on the last four. Candidate A has a total of 18, and E only has eight, so A wins this pairing. B versus D. D is on top on the first two. B is on top on the six, and also the four, and also this one. D is on top on this one. D is on top on the four, and D is also on top on the last four. Candidate B has a total of 11, and candidate D also has a total of 11, so they both get a half. Now candidates B versus E. B is above E on the first two. B is above E on the six. B is above E on the four and on this one. Candidate B is above E on this one. Candidate E is above B on this four. And candidate E is above B on the last four. Candidate B has a total of 14, and candidate E has a total of 8, and so candidate B is the winner of this pairing. And now our final pairing, candidates D and E. Candidate D is above E on the first two, D is above E on the six, D is above E on the four, D is above E on the one, D is also above E on this one, D is above E on this four, and the last four go to E. Candidate D has a total of 18, while E only has four, so D wins this pairing. Now tally up the points. Candidate A has won two of their pairings. Candidate B has won two and a half. And candidate D has won one and a half. And finally, candidate E didn't win any of their pairings. And so the candidate that has the most wins or the most points is candidate B. And so B wins. So some candidate who did not win the election drops out of the election and it causes the winner of the election 
of the original election, that is, to no longer win. And this is um, one of our criterion. It's called the Independence of Irrelevant Alternatives criterion. So this says um, that a candidate would that would otherwise win an election should not lose merely because one of the losing candidates withdraws from the race. So that's it for this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day.